OK Google. Skru av støvsugeren. OK Google. Skru av støvsugeren. Alright guys, so uh, welcome to another video. My name is Daniel and today we are actually uh, filming uh, inside the gear uh, place. So uh, I'm not able to go out uh, due to the logistics at home. Uh, my wife is using my car and it has snow again. So, um, well, anyway. Um, we're going to talk about some new gear uh, that I have uh, bought and some that I also have got myself from my uh, one of my sponsors or partners. I've been trying the Kilo Skier uh, sleeping air sleeping pad uh, recently. This is going to be replacing uh, my winter gear pad uh, that it recently has uh, uh, the, re uh, the, the pad that I recently uh, had to send, uh, throw away, the XPED uh, down pad. Uh, I have experienced at least three faulties with that pad, so I'm not going to use them anymore, basically. So sorry XPED, but uh, I need something that is reliable. Um, pretty much I'm hoping that this one is going to be uh, a good winter pad. So Kilos Gear uh, sent me actually this pad, a uh, couple actually. Uh, and I've been trying it just at home because I haven't been had the time uh, to try them, uh, <coughs> try them uh, outdoors yet. Uh, so it's supposed to be a four season uh, tent, but I think it's down to minus six degrees Celsius. I'm not entirely sure. I've been sitting on, uh, at home and it feels very, very, very comfortable. And the thing is about this pad is that it uh, has a, it's very easy to inflate and it has a thin 10 centimeters, um, 10 centimeters of height that is more than uh, the other pads that I have uh, that are normally in nine uh, and I think it will be a good replacement especially for camping uh, or using with the wife as well because you can put it together I'm not sure down to super uh, minus degrees yet but uh, we will need to find out uh, in the next month I guess I also uh, well I, I actually bought this from uh, my sponsor because I was needing in a hurry and I can't wait for the delivery uh, uh, I was need, in need of this this little um, gear storage and it's collapsible and it's I think it's pretty good it's uh, I think it's made of Fordura you can collapse this and it's very easy to take with me um, uh, to the outdoors uh, some stuff uh, that I can quickly grab um, from home groceries and stuff and just put it inside here and put it on the car instead of those uh, big boxes so for camping is such a great um, great thing so um, uh, and the cool thing about this is when you have a, a, a some trash that you like want to uh, get rid of, uh, then you can put the, the bag uh, over it and uh, and put and throw the the trash there. So uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this um, guy. And one thing I bought at the same time was also from uh, Hilo Skier some, uh, uh, some lights just to give some atmosphere and this will be power with uh, very simply with a power bank like this simply put it in, put turn on the power plant, power plant and then you will get uh, some light 
So super easy to actually set up and easy to just keep. that there so this is uh, also from kilos gear another thing uh, that I have bought uh, that is not from kilos gear but if you want uh, uh, you can get like this our table for uh, 15% off or 10% off I'm not sure but uh, there's been a lot of people who has bought uh, this table because Kilos gear they are actually using me for a commercial uh, my video so I'm totally good with that and uh, uh, I like again I don't recommend stuff that is not um, uh, good but by the way <laughs> uh, a little update to this C2 Summit silicone kettle uh, I use this on across Norway and it's very uh, restricted to where you can use it because you can use this on a, on a bonfire and this this kettle in with a plastic leaf been having some cracks here now and I'm not I'm not super satisfied with this kettle anymore but it's it's a good alternative if you are uh, only boiling water and you need something quick this might be a good idea so it's not it's not super bad but I, I will not probably recommend this to everyone who really likes to uh, cook uh, on it so <coughs> uh, on my ultralight setup that I don't have here right now I'm using a Tox titanium kettle um, but I will be actually boiling water in this in a moment Yes, in here too. <laughs> so I set up my modular table here and I'm gonna show you my new base camp stall. So I bought this from Faust Winds, I think it's called Faust, Faust Winds. And it is a uh, about uh, it's actually it's not a stove, it's a it's supplementary um additions to your stove so if you know if you see my videos my base camping video i've been like having uh, the table like this and i was i will set some kind of a of a box underneath so you can support the the stove that i've been using and the stove that i've been normally use is the multi fuel that is a super uh, stove but it can be a bit of a hassle um, uh, regarding the, ha the haze of this especially if there are snow underneath so i found this outdoor glamping life from thouse winds uh, that is basically uh, an addition to your stove so so basically it's the fancy version of this this is to put your gas canister there and it will support it but this can be also very slippery inside the snow this is also why I'm showing in here so so uh, this part here it has the a pretty solid metal uh, kind of a um, extender the extender is for the stoves and this is the same stove that I use on uh, on across Norway so it's super tight and you see this part here from the stove itself the Optimus might be a bit small so you might be sketchy for this and it might fall pretty quickly so this addition here actually you can actually attach an extender that you can put there to even maximize the I like the, the Optimus because it has a larger um, a larger 
part there and there is actually easier for me to now cook stuff so that that's one addition of this uh, extender but the cool thing you have legs here that you can attach to the bottom and it'll, this might take a while to set up to be honest but it gives you this might be a good thing if you're gonna stay for a couple of days to be setting up all, all of this stuff maybe for your base camp now if I really I, I, I was searching for something like this for quite quite a while to be honest because this is a super super nice camping addition and you know when you are bringing a table and a chair and such it's good to be elevated when you are uh, uh, about to make food all right and now the cool part about this is that you can press the legs down and you can place the the stove underneath the the cooking area and now it's easier for me to just um, make food like this when you are filming with camera and stuff it's gonna be super good one thing I forgot though is that this um, this stove thing I'm gonna need the canister on the knees attached there and this is cool because it elevates the canister from snow winter and it's less chance of of it um, of it going to be going to be um, uh, snow and some especially some in Norway uh, experts in Norway have reacted that I'm using uh, a cover for the gas but the cover for the gas uh, is actually and it didn't work last time because the the canister was empty so I need to actually uh, I, I went empty on gas uh, but the cover is actually to insulate gas and it will uh, give the gas uh, insulation so it doesn't become cold so the gas work properly in colder temperatures so a must have in Norway for sure now so this this is how it basically looks uh, the addition to that there so um, now what we are going to put inside here is the other addition to um, that I bought and this is pretty cool I think I found it pretty cool uh, I'm not super happy with it though to be honest but I found it pretty pretty cool and the reason this is a heater you see probably seen some of the gas stoves that you can like uh, turn around to also warm you up this is going to enhance uh, that part there 360 degrees all over uh, the problem with this uh, thing is that it has a, a little glass uh, I don't know I'm not sure if you can see that but it is it has almost broken glass over there and I tried it at home uh, like I'm doing now uh, pr uh, at room temperature and that actually that glass actually became broken the first time I tried uh, so Thalswin recommends you to uh, pre-warm the glass uh, before you put it full temperature on that but the thing is it happened anyway so that's the, that's the part I'm not satisfied with so I'm gonna put the 
and now I can basically attach this like this or you can actually put this on but it's gonna take like this thing goes under there and you can attach this uh, to that plate there so it's like and it, uh, I found that it's way more easier to actually set up the that thing there and and it will stay like this instead this plate is to put over there and now you actually power this up so I'm gonna just prepare the water inside this here and I'm gonna make me a quick uh, boil some water inside here yeah, I, could, I couldn't how to actually go outdoors to to do a video like this because I don't have the tent I don't have the car and basically uh, I don't have the time to go outdoors at the moment so so you need to like warm it up a bit a bit on the start like this And after it has warmed a bit, you can actually set up the the um, this. So what it does is it's going to be uh, reflecting warm to this area here. You can already feel the warmth that is coming. And I, uh, I think this combination works great. Though. The cool thing is that you can sit here, make food. Be uh, this is elevated from the ground, and it's actually warming you at the same time. So it's super, super comfortable. This is glamping uh, gears. <laughs> uh, so, so, so nice. I, I like. I found it so interesting. Uh, um, it's, it's very well thought of. It's not the typical ultra light gear, <laughs> I would say, but it's surely surely a glamp camping uh, thing. Uh, now it's getting super warm here. My legs all here is getting warm. Well, I'm indoors, so it, sh it should. You can see all the 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 coil still is getting red, and that's is giving warmth to both what I'm heating up here and the sides. It might use a lot of gas though, uh, I guess, but um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, well, while that is cooking, I'm gonna talk about something that I've been. Uh, that I'm uh, actually preparing. If you own a new tent uh, product, um, Agame, we are going to uh, actually arrange a Nordic Gami village this fall. Uh, I think it's the late September. If you go to my Facebook, my Facebook is Daniel Outdoors, uh, just look for the logo. Uh, or you can find the link uh, down in the description and uh, I will link to the event that is going to happen this fall so I'm actually arranging it and we have uh, new tent of course as um, the sponsor and we also actually have a Ballsteader Ballsteader which um, uh, which are the retailer of the Zulu stove uh, because they are going to help with a big solo stove basically we're gonna set up the games and we're gonna set up stoves uh, like this uh, 
but just bigger. Uh, if you own, if you are uh, located in Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, travel to uh, Hurdalsjön or um, is close is close to the Gar Gardermoen Airport because we are going to have two days events of the Game Village. It, it is for new tent owners only, but you can also probably borrow or rent uh, for a small fee a Game if you want to participate. Uh, I know new tent is going to have uh, new tent is going to have. Okay, let me turn this off. Um, it's going to have their um, giveaway. Tent tart, the hell it is. It's going to have a giveaway in that, and we are going to have a big pig as a dinner uh, for at least one of the days. This is almost boiled, super warm. There we go, and. Um, And we're going to have a nice time. Uh, so the Nordic Gamma Village is going to be this fall. I cannot exactly remember the date because I'm terrible at remembering remembering the dates. And if you didn't know what it is, is uh, a tradition that started uh, in Japan, and I think it spread so fast in Japan and became very popular that it also uh, it spreads to Taiwan and China as well. They're doing the camping uh, village. It's, it's in, in Asia, pretty much all the style of glam camping and camping is super popular and I'm highly inspired by that. So um, I know we're gonna get the one that started it all uh, from Japan, uh, Yamaya. Yamaya 400, I think, is super popular on Instagram. Let me just close the windows because it's super cold here now. There we go. And, uh, yeah, Yamaya is he's coming, uh, traveling to Norway, so I'm gonna pick him up at the airport and we're going to have uh, a nice time on that event. This is going to be an area where, where it's normally organized by the scouts because I'm a scout leader, I have connections, so I uh, I am the one arranging that, that part there. I've been to the area many, many times, not exactly there, but uh, I normally uh, be to Hula quite a lot. And uh, we are looking forward. I know Nurten's going to show us uh, a couple of new colors. Um, they're going to show us, us the Mjöd Hall that I'm uh, be looking forward to see there. And just uh, bringing family along and uh, have some something for the kids. We are going to serve some waffles. Uh, some easy let's uh, servering as we call it so you can buy at least waffles and some normal stuff and there's going to be a toilet there and we're going to have a nice time uh, so uh, that's that's Nordic Gamma Village and hopefully it becomes popular and we can expand that uh, over the next years um, the next video guys is not going to be outdoors, it's going to be more of a vlogging style video. So, uh, uh, if, but I think it will be a bit interesting. It's, uh, it's a gift for my 40th birthday. So that's uh, next week. Uh, and hopefully after that I will uh, be able to, uh, at the time you actually see that, that video. Uh, I will probably be outdoors making another video <laughs> because it's been a, actually a little while since I've been outdoors but I have been having so much to do recently that I've been uh, I'm not able to go out. So I hope you like this video guys and thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it inspired you. Again you can buy some of the kilos gear, the chair, the table, uh, the pads 
things uh, cheaper from me because I'm Kilos Gear Ambassador. And check out also South Wind uh, uh, Glam Camping uh, Gear because I'm super satisfied with my new base camp stove. So I have bushcraft stoves like the solar stove here. I have base camp stove and I pick in the best ones. I have expedition stoves like the Multifool. And also have the ultralight uh, 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 setup that is maybe mostly my alcohol stove at the moment, and and I can switch this with the uh, gas as well. All right, bye.